I want to demonstrate how I can uh, edit a uh, PC uh, curve surfaces. Um, I start with two helper uh, wires uh, written uh, or designed in Sketcher. And the first thing I create a product of these two uh, curves. Uh, this is a P spline surface with a special uh, knot vector. So uh, I have uh, here always uh, PC curves and now I can change some details. Let's see the map of the face. Oh. So this is our surface and now I start the editor. And what I see is here uh, are the, the segments of the surface and I work in this area. This area is uh, are the poles uh, with the index 2 and 3. And we here can see the borders of the segments. We can see here the control points of the surface and the special effect of this kind of surface is that I can change the value of this points directly. It's not like in piece blinds where the poles are somewhere in the space and the surface is on another place. Here when I move this point the complete surface will follow and I demonstrate this. First I have here some possibilities to display the data. The first is I see the face and I can hide the face and I can hide the tangents in the control points or show the tangents and I can hide the uh, ISO curves too. Uh, let's see again the face. We also can show here the control points and we see how all of them are arranged. Okay, let's go back. Okay, uh, first thing what I can do, I have here uh, this object under control. This is pole 2, 3 and the first thing what I can do is I can move uh, this control point along the uh, U-ISO curves or uh, V-ISO curves this way. And I can scale the impact. And I also can move along the normal to the area. We look from this side. So I can make a movement in this direction and I can scale it and I can move back to the other side. Okay, the other thing what I can do, I can move along the x, y, z axis of the space. Here I move to x and I move to z according to this crossing here and I can roll back. So I can place this point anywhere I want. At the moment I only have the stylus, but I think it's also possible to have some time here a track function for the mouse. And furthermore I can rotate the orientation of these places. To see this, uh, let's display here the curves. I hide the face. So, and now I have here the rotation, Euler rotation and we can change this in this directions and I can rotate in the y and the x direction. Here it's better to see. So I have at the moment uh, nine possibilities to change the placement of this control point. And the impact is only this area here inside. Um, so I can 
apply this and so I get a result interface. This is the old interface, uh, the old surface and this is the, the new. So I hide this and I can start here again with the surface editor and can say I want in this moment work on another place. So uh, let's say here and oh, let's go to the other direction, we scale it a little bit more. And so I can change any of this uh, blue crossings. <coughs> 